Hello everyone and welcome to Megaponics. Lettuce is easy to grow compared to a few other leafy greens. In this video we will learn how to easily grow hydroponic lettuce at home. We will also cover the two-part nutrition and check TDS at regular intervals. Watch the entire video to know some important tips to successfully grow hydroponic lettuce at home. Let's begin. We use Oasis cubes to start seeds for our hydroponic systems. These are the three types that we will be sowing. First soak the lettuce in water. Remember, do not drench. We will be sowing iceberg lettuce seeds. We expect about 75 to 80% of our seeds to germinate properly so this is an optional step. You can make holes on the sides to add more seeds. I do this to improve germination probability by being able to add more seeds. So the seeds and close the holes by gently pinching the above part. Spray the water again on the oasis cubes to moisten the seeds and then close the lid. The seeds have germinated and they're adorable. We will now transplant the seedling as it has roots which are long enough that it can reach the water through the growth medium and the net cup. Roots look healthy and long enough. Carefully place the plant in the net pot in such a way that the roots hang from the bottom. Then we will add clay pebbles to support the plant and stop the light from entering the nutrient solution. Do not fill the entire cup with pebbles right now. Wait for it to grow bigger. This is our NFT setup. We will be using the above two pipes which can accommodate 7 plants each so total 14 plants. Now we will put the seedlings one by one into the pipes. The growth looks pretty so far. You need to manage proper flow of the solution in the NFT system. The easiest way of doing this is a timer which switches the pump on and off. It's time to take care of our plant's food. This is our 20 liter reservoir, but we have filled 15 liters. We had added nutrients a few days back and we will check the TDS right now. It is around 154 ppm. It's time to increase the strength of our nutrient solution as the growth progresses, so we will be adding these two nutrients one by one. First we'll add part A and mix it properly. This must be around 10 milliliters for 15 liter capacity. Then we'll add part B and mix properly. Now we will recheck the TDS after adding more nutrients. The TDS is now 279 ppm. Let's check the roots. They look very healthy as they are white and dense. This is a good sign. Plants look leggy because of the intensity of light. As a learning, make sure the light intensity should be at least 150 ppfd and it can go maximum to 400 ppfd. 
please do like, share, and subscribe. You can also check our newest upload or other related videos.